Hello, and thank you so very much for joining us tonight. I go by alone and Nate, and with me is my beloved friend, my treasure, or one of many individuals' treasures, Angela Mary Magic. I've talked about her often on my channel, and I've done a whole video where I featured some of her sprays, and I'm in her home, <laughs> so blessed to be here, and we wanted to create a little video for you in ASMR style, hopefully, but not too dramatically ASMR at the same time because there's a lot of elements here. Mm. And uh, yeah, would you like to say anything, Angela? I'm <laughs> so blown away and honored to be here with my precious Luna and Nate. Oh my goodness. Um, I came in contact with Luna and Nate in January 2019. So here we are for a full moon in mm -hmm. November. So we've had a whole entire witch's calendar of a year and a day together. Mm -hmm. And that is just such a treasured honor that that happened across our land. Mm -hmm. And now you're in my home. Yeah. Thank you for being <laughs> Thank here. Thank you for having you so me. Yes. And welcome, welcome, welcome to my nest. <laughs> We're recording this during the full moon in Taurus. And we just thought how perfect that this lined up. And we wanted yeah. to create a little little video for you so our theme is a bit of a wish um it's simple you know we have some tools we're going to pull a couple cards just to lend a little guidance perhaps or for whoever the message resonates with and we'll just kind of get into it i guess i'm gonna you want to do a little shuffling together and that create that amazing. nice sound between the the portals here <laughs> i love round tarot for those of you that have a connection between both of our channels I'm a lunar witch, so I love anything that's reflective of the moon. So it's very special that we're here for this full moon right now because full moons are for wishes and gratitude. Mm -hmm. And I know Jillian and I feel the same. That we're so grateful to have the portal of our channels to connect with all you all. Yes. I love tarot so Ooh, much. I just Ooh, got hello that. jumpers. <laughs> hello out. jumpers. Oh, and I too. Yeah, well, you had a few. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> they're Ooh, going they're back coming. in. I got a real persistent. Yeah, someone's <laughs> jumpy. Okay, I like this. This is a reverse seven of pentacles. And that's just a little overlay to say you deserve this time and space in your body for you. Mm -hmm. And to maybe settle in and sink in a little deeper and give yourself this time. Mm -hmm. I love pentacles. Mine that jumped out was the world. Oh, that's amazing. Gorgeous. Well, just as the world turns, you know, <laughs> like that's what pops in my head when I ever talk to the world. Just a lot of potential, a lot of movement, shifting, rotation, cycles. If you're called to, you might want to pay attention to the cycles, your personal cycles in your life. It's an opportunity to redirect and create a new pattern. But it's also just letting us know that there's literally any option. There's every potential that we can go down. So there's a lot of power in that card. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I love that blue field of the world. It's mm. like earth and sky meld and we're the same. Mm -hmm. We're all the same as above, so below. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Gorgeous. So do you have a way that you normally shuffle? Do you have a amount of time or is it just like reflective of your life? No, I just kind of... Do what they feel. <laughs> How much time I have is usually what dictates. Yeah, yeah, true. Sometimes it's just a little bit. But I like to, I'm a, I shuffle it typical style. Yeah. And then I shuffle it by hand the way you do the yes. overline. And then I yeah. shake them out so they're I even. That. I cut the deck. <laughs> and then I pull from there. <laughs> so great. And I give them a kiss. <laughs> I love it. And I hold them to my bosom because I just love to give a hug and be grateful for the space. Mm -hmm. That direct connection. That my hands are my heart's messenger. So I'm able to kind of acknowledge that the shapes I create in the world reveal how I feel. And so I like to hold this to my heart. Mm -hmm. And then always, always, always start by striking a wooden match. Yes. And lighting a candle, mm -hmm. which we'll do for you very soon. Mm -hmm. But we'll start with our... Do you want to go together? Yeah, Let's go. I think we can. I think so, too. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Awesome. I'm going to see if it makes any noise. Oh. 
I light this candle for myself to alert my spirit guides that I'm here, I'm open, and I'm listening for the messages that I'm ready to receive and that I'm meant to receive to share with all of us. Mm-hmm. And my little saying <laughs> is on behalf of your, my, and everyone else's highest and greatest good. Just so honored to hold space for everyone today, support a little reading and the opportunity to make a wish with these gorgeous elements and just connect with the collective here today beyond time and space. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how lucky. Right? How many do you want to pull? How about three? Three, right? Does that feel yeah, good? Because we're in, we got a three, three each, going. right? And then I, what I normally do is I cut the deck in three with my left mm. hand. This is just how I was yeah, kind of like, I like brought that. into tarot. And then bring them back in how I'm intuitively called to mm. with my left hand. And then the three cards that I pull are just like uniquely the significator or me, the atmosphere around me, and a skill that I need to acquire. Mm. What, are your, what are your threesies, Jillian? My threesies are, it is a little corny to the past, present, future, but like where, what has just happened yes. or what's what's going on right now or what have we... You know, if it's reversed, maybe what are we just coming to understand? Like, yes. what's coming to our field where we can identify it? I love the word. And then field. the the situation, you yeah. know, what's going on in the environment, the mm-hmm. atmosphere, mm-hmm. and then the last being more of a guidance kind of card potentially, yes. or what steps to take going forward. Yes. But you know what? Sometimes they come out, and I'm like, oh wait, <laughs> <laughs> actually, <laughs> sit down. Yeah, we need to talk. <laughs> yeah, totally, totally. <laughs> So I'll just pull three, I guess. Beautiful. What is it about paper that's just so ancient and about that element of air, Mm -hmm. communication, Mm -hmm. ready to sort of write our new way? It's so creative, right? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. There's something very special about it for sure. I'll let you go first. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. Okay, so the first card, amazingly, because everyone witnessed how much I was shuffling, remains the reversed seven of swords. Mm. So that seven of pentacles showed up first, and now we've got our seven of swords reversed, which is swords represent the direction of east, the element of air. And when we see that reversal, it's like, what is it about my confidence that needs to be sort of almost sort of boosted mm. to let it out and to share what I know mm. and to also listen and let others' words in? Mm-hmm. So this could be representative of a little blockage in a way. Yeah, like I need to reclaim some space or mm-hmm. connect with being seen or being expressing that connection consciously sort of seeing and feeling exactly what i think because that air represents the thought processes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and so i'm acknowledging that i could i could i could definitely create more space mhm and I, if anybody else has that challenge, too, where they <laughs> feel like they're not giving themselves the mm-hmm. space to speak their truth and mm-hmm. to listen to others, that's just so important. And you're worth it. It's important. Pretty card. They're gorgeous. Yeah. All of them are just so gorgeous. It, it's kind of an angelic figure and a dove-winged figure that look like they might be sort of having a little conflict. Mm. So reverse Seven of Swords. What about you, Jillian? Got the reverse, reversed King of Cups. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. So perhaps members of the collective are not really may understand that you haven't completely embodied aspects of your emotions from a place of creation. So this could be a fear, perhaps, of becoming too emotionally invested in what you want to create as if and then if it doesn't happen, how will I feel then? Like almost mm. afraid to speak it because 
of the potential for letdown, mm. but that really isn't a space to navigate from, you know? Um, and I should say, too, I'm more of an intuitive reader. Your King of Cups might be a bit different than mine. I love your readings. <laughs> I think they're spot on. Oh, thanks. So that's just the first thing, the inclination that came up is that like there's some holding back of manifesting from an emotional place or tapped into that emotion because we don't want to get let down. But the key to manifesting is to bring in your emotions. So that would be a bit of it. You know, if there's any numbness you've created, um, sometimes it needs to be created. But if it's been created and you can identify it, perhaps you can create spaces for yourself to allow that feeling to embody what you're trying to create, you know? Yeah. Numbness. Mm -hmm. So we could have our sort of significators work together to sort of use the swords of language mm. to pierce through numbness, mm. to feel feelings and know that whatever you create in the world is going to be more honest, mm -hmm. more emotionally true to you. Mm-hmm. I like these together. Yeah, me too. <laughs> we could pop a collar a little tiny bit, only because, like, we're grown, mm -hmm. and folks count on us. It's good to have that confidence and that ability to say, I know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And I know what it means to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that, <laughs> Jillian. Oh my goodness, and I just want to also just give you a little ASMR-like mm. exciting thing that's coming in the video. Yeah. We have these beautiful bay leaf enactments, and we'll be casting a spell together and making wishes together, and we mm. have one for you, too. Yeah, we have a candle for you, too. <laughs> Lovely. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Card number two. Do you want to yeah. go? Yeah, I'll go. That way we Good. can... All right, we have the five of cups. And this could say perhaps right now we're maybe focused on the what didn't work out or the times that we weren't fulfilled. So even as I'm saying that to some people, maybe the original card or the first card rather for me to say like you're not letting yourself feel. And maybe because even by bringing that up, we go right back to yeah, but it didn't work out or yeah, I did hurt or yeah. I know you're saying that, but it's real. So we want to validate, of course, that pain is real for the things that didn't work out or the relationships that had to end. But, you know, there's always another bridge and there's always another way. So my the guidance here is just stop, like stop it. Shift your head, shift your focus and focus on all the potential for what's new and what and away from the things that make you feel upset, you know? So don't focus on the things that make you feel upset. And don't let those things inhibit your ability to connect with all the other potential for joy that you'll, you'll inevitably experience as well. Mm. It's always a ride. It's always a in and out, you know? We're becoming close, but we might not talk for a while and then come back again. Like, it's just one of That's those things, you know? Yeah, and it's just how it is. It shouldn't be taken so personally, I mm. want to say, when things end or when things get let down. Because it's always a teaching opportunity for ourselves. It's gorgeous. I love fives. Mm -hmm. I love fives and tarot because that gives us the opportunity to see <laughs> our, what our hands are creating. Mm, and with the cups, that. it's like, what are you feeding yourself? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, are you are you being utterly kind to yourself constantly? Because what you feed yourself is what you are going to see in the world. Mm -hmm. It's really Big gives time. us a huge responsibility. I love you. You got double cups. <laughs> so awesome. Oh wow. So now I've got a five. <laughs> I've got the Hierophant. And I mm. pulled this card with a left tilt. That's what I call it. I don't know sort of any other way. I, I, I do think that I, a tarot card deck is emerging from me. Mm. Because I just have this unique way that I'm reading that shows the directions too. So mm, this, like a clock. Yeah, this a... left tilt is showing me that it's more of an interior idea, mm. that it's still in my intuition. And again, mm. maybe there's a lack of confidence. Mm -hmm. There's some confidence that needs to be addressed mm -hmm. here because the Hierophant's such a teacher. Oh, and yeah. the Hierophant um, can sit really in their wisdom of what they have to share. Um, it's maybe just that it's not quite time mm -hmm. that I need another turn of the yeah. wheel to get <laughs> yeah. there 
I one just look. love that we both have fives. Yeah, how funny. And just I love talking it. about how you love fives. I know, I love fives. <laughs> so maybe it's time for me to feed myself some more knowledge and wisdom. Mm-hmm. I, I do totally love learning mm-hmm. from you, Jillian, honestly. <laughs> Yay. Yay, a fan. That, that works well. I love a major arcana. Mm-hmm. So we both have major arcanas. Mm-hmm. Oh, do Your we? jumper. Well, the, the world Your was little one, jumper. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take I'll it. let you go first this oh, time. Thanks. That way we... <laughs> this is the skill I need to acquire. And now I've got the Knight of Swords, and that's upright. I pulled that card upright. Mm. The Knight of Swords upright. I mean, knights are babes. Mm-hmm. I, just, I, just, I can't <laughs> help it. I have to speak the truth. I love helpers, mm-hmm. and I do love, um, if I could say that mask energy of folks that are comfortable moving things with the power Mm -hmm. of their passions and so this knight of swords i'm very open to having that yummy wisdom in books Mm -hmm. yummy wisdom in teachers shine through right now so it's really time for me to just sit down and accept assistance and help Mm -hmm. and knowledge (laughs) and wisdom Mm-hmm. Let I'll someone carry it. a little bit of it too. Little sometimes. tiny person. Yeah, you have to give up a little control, <laughs> maybe but that's read okay. to me. I love a bedtime story, and I love giving them. But maybe it's time to get read yeah. to. Yeah, I love that. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Interesting. So to me, this shares. I will call it a delay, or still more preparation, or something still needs to click mm-hmm. to. So that you can start putting in some effort to what you're actually building, like materially, in your relationships, yeah. in your business. But this card, if you can see, it might not focus very well for you, but it looks gorgeous. It is a individual working, crafting, and hanging up his work or their work to, you know, stock up on their sale, like what they're gonna sell or whatever it is. So it's physical work. Or it's the physical creation of something. But there is a hang-up here. And the hang-up definitely will tie to everything that we've talked about. You know, helpers included. Maybe don't do it all yourself and don't try to do it all so yourself. You're right, you're right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but also, make sure that when you're creating, it's from a place of feeling good and knowing that you can be fulfilled by your work as well so we want to make sure that it's not just busy work or oh i've done so much oh i've done so much oh i stayed up late but is it for the things that you truly want are you touching down or are you spinning your wheels so we definitely want to ground whatever it is so that it can touch down like literally touch down and not just be kind of hovering and going a mile a minute if that if i can say it that way all right I love, so that was a reversed mm-hmm. Eight of Pentacles mm-hmm. and for our Taurus mm. full moon and the way that we're in that deep, deep autumn now that we're called to the roots, we're called to the protection of the underworld, we're called to get those deeper messages. Mm. I totally love your whole like mega <laughs> reversal reading. <laughs> it's so right. epic. Absolutely. Because that's where the fairies are and that's where the magic is. Yeah, and it's just, It just brings our attention a little more of like, don't rush, you know, don't rush, don't, don't waste your time staying up all night to do something or make it hard. It doesn't have to be hard and it should feel good. And if it doesn't feel good, you'll know and stop and recalibrate. We're in retrograde still. So that could kind of play into some of these reversals and stuff, but it's not the time to rush through anything at all. It's resetting a bit of the path or the way you form the path in general to what you're creating. I'm seeing a theme that's going through this that's about laying your burdens down. They're not doing you or your love in your life any good from you holding on to your burdens. They're meant to be exited and voided and let out of you. And that um, I admire how much you can carry. And now you can lay those burdens down. Mm. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) All right, I will. (laughs) So we 
we can move to perhaps writing some wishes. Writing our wishes on our bay leaf. Yeah. Which I love. I love that too. So we have a candle each for us going, but we also have one for the collective. Yay. So this will be yours. Mm -hmm. But let's do our wishes first, I guess, Good. right? This is always hard. And it's funny because it kind of comes into the reading as well, like to be afraid to wish for what you want or to be afraid to see yourself as, not afraid to see yourself as that person, but to really bring I it out of you. I'm connecting with that. Okay. I'm a little bit shy. Mm -hmm. Shy to say, to state, to claim, mm -hmm. to even allow yourself the mental access to say, I'm the person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is my time. Yeah, I saw, I was watching one of my friend Ashtara's uh, mm -hmm. Starseed Energetics videos, and she's super cosmic, super starseed, and she was saying how if you can fathom it, it means it's close enough in your proximity that you can create it or that it can be an experience. Mm -hmm. So if you're even thinking of it, it can happen because yeah. you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to even identify what that is so mm -hmm. don't hold back you know yeah. like don't let anything hold you back and i love that she said that i think it's so empowering there's almost a politeness in these readings like, yeah there's I, like a ladylike kind of energy exactly <laughs> like it's just like oh no no, no after you mm. in the way this links together mm -hmm. and if that's you i actually think that's super lovely and you can be that polite and gorgeous person just allow yourself the time for your tender musings mm -hmm. in your private space. So maybe you just make a little bit of extra time to make your shower a tiny bit longer. Mm -hmm. I mean, with conservation in mind of water and all that, but just give yourself time to space out. Mm -hmm. Maybe you get up 10 minutes before if you have a family, before your family's up so you can have time to space out and do that starseed big move mm -hmm. of dreaming it. Yeah, just give yeah. It when some your day space. is so full of other people, or or even your busy work, yeah. you're not creating the space for something to come through. So you could picture, oh. like you're so right, you know. So. So that's the challenge: is us even saying what our tender wishes are for ourselves? I know it's hard. It's hard. I'm no. always like hard making wishes. <laughs> Probably everybody has a bay leaf, and I personally want to just invite you to go get one if mm -hmm. you want to, and just. You know, take it in with your mm -hmm, senses mm -hmm. and enjoy the aroma. I like to kind of like press them a little bit, like not oh. pierce them, but just Allow a the little essential oil mm -hmm. to escape. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's beautiful. Yeah, let it be a 3D mm -hmm. experience. Well, it is also, we could share if we're wishing uh, the Taurus full moon. Yeah. <laughs> and working with the energy of Taurus is certainly in our best. Um, way of guiding right now yeah. to go with the flow yeah. and Taurus is about comfort security passion beauty appreciation of fine things and it doesn't have to be bougie you know no. or like high end yeah. but what you find to be a fine thing you know and what yeah. your unique um, objective of beauty yeah. leads you to yeah. you know yeah so I love the bay leaf for being so accessible and so available and so fully common and giving you that space to almost hide in plain sight and write your sweet wishes upon this hidden, gorgeous, very polite, very kind, very giving, others-focused thing that's just for you. How do you see yourself in your abundance? Does that just mean you're smiling more or you're receiving more kisses, or you're sort of hearing more music. Mm -hmm. The easiest way to access wishes, if you're a very others-focused person, is to experience them through your five senses. What does that wish look like, smell like, taste like? What does it sound like, and what does it feel like on your flesh, and how does it feed your deepest inner knowings? Mm. I have my wish written yeah. down. I'm excited. I have mine, too. Mine is definitely more material, yeah. I would say. Oh, mine's I, won't, I won't say the whole mine. thing. Yeah. <laughs> mine's a sigil written over and Ooh, over again. Oh, I love that. It's a very common sigil. Mm, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to hold this with these That's pretty scissors? That's a good scissors? idea. That's right. You can. Ooh. Sorry, I didn't mean to just tap. No. <laughs> nice scissor noise. 
These are gorgeous. And I've got these nice little tweezers that I got at my little local occult shop. These are actually like a little candle snuffer. Go around here. If you go around, it's like left there. and right, so it will... All the tricks. It's fun. I like that. I'm going counterclockwise because <laughs> witchcraft. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I love this. Right? So bay leaves burn so beautifully. Mm -hmm. And we have our little teeny tiny cauldron. Mm -hmm. How cool. Very. Oftentimes when I'm using my bay leaf spells, I like to connect with the generations and generations of folks that have done bay leaf spells mm. and the folks all over the collective that are doing it now. Oh, see, now my candle just wants to be dressed with this I was just going to say leaf. the same thing. Did like, you get it too? Well, I usually just do that. Like yeah. I just collect okay. the ashes and put Maybe it in that's there. that's why it's going on. Yeah, it's like... Because then even if it doesn't completely yeah. burn, you still have it in your candle. Oh, it's heaven. Thank you, Joan, and I'm glad <laughs> you had that effect on the magic. <laughs> awesome. I'm going to pick up these little pieces and put it in. Well, guess what? The rest of my ashes are on the seven oh, of swords on that place mm. where I could gain more confidence in my words mm -hmm. and asking for what I need and receiving other people's knowledge and wisdom. It's gorgeous. It's so fun. All right, and now we'll do one for you. Wouldn't it be fair to use a little yeah, mist over? Great. Let's do just it. Just to make sure. We have them here, and that's enough for me. So but this is my atmosphere mist, and we'll begin with protection and the grounding. It's like Jillian was saying in their reading and their wisdom shining through, and I think Jillian's such an amazing reader. I have to just like... <laughs> I feel shy and like self-conscious around other readers, you know? I mean, clearly from the cards that we pulled, we have a ton of respect for each mm -hmm. other, so mm -hmm. that's a good thing, and the politeness is in place, and mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. And let's just own that we're in these animal bodies, and that we deserve to have that groundedness, and to be so held by the living source of life, our earth. Mm -hmm. So this represents earth, and it's resist mist, and it's got a lava bead inside. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, it's I a was little curious. lava bead, because lava is the freshest earth on earth. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Just to Beautiful. overstate the yeah. obvious. <laughs> and I like to create a little gossamer halo around all of us. I breathe deeply. And exhale very deeply through your open lips. Love it. So protection's in place. And now we'll use I love wool. the layers. Yeah. So this has a quartz crystal bead within the... It's a bead because it's an amulet that's meant mm. to be used as a talisman Ooh. to sort of bring your magic and your spell into the world mm -hmm. where you can connect with it mm -hmm. outside More of your tangibly, body. Yes. Let it start expanding into the world. So I like it for car jewelry because I'm a Californian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> love, love to adore my vehicles. And so this is moon magic. I couldn't pick a favorite for sure. And the third and final mist is Aura for Invocation. This is for invoking spirit guides and earthly lovers. Mm. So she's in a really pretty ombre bottle that's purple and pink. And stunning. And this has a tiger eye bead within. Oh, And this has I'm got learning. a little more energy. <laughs> and that invocation energy is... There's a confidence in that. So if you're working on developing your mm. confidence, aura is great for that. I love that. Um, and if you're really kind of jamming on your spells and prayers now, this is a great time to do invocation mm. magic. Mm -hmm. So a little gossamer halo. Mm. It's so good. And all of this magic now is sort of imbued in this bay leaf. Mm -hmm. This is yours. It's lovely. 
so so pretty and we'll light your candle as well should we give them a, a marking intuitively yeah on there? maybe a combination i love that i'll let you go okay. first so if you want to connect and think about what you'd like to request this is for you i know it's only one leaf but we are not oh, limited in any way that was fun <laughs> all symbols and all really kind of common gentle and I'm going to go way uncommon. <laughs> Good. That's my guy. By the way, we're using um, the yummy black wing, black palomino pencils. Yeah. And we're here in Orange County, California, where Disneyland is. And Walt Disney created Disneyland with sketches using these pencils. And I, I just love, them. love them. They're so cool. I love them. They're pretty. I also love those pencils for, um, like, working um they're like the flat pencil the graphite yeah <gasps> and you just like you shavies can, yeah oh my gosh i love them it's, it's like a like, softer lead right it is it yeah because it's like more. for like marking on materials yeah. building and stuff yeah. more like a home depot pencil yeah, put right that thing behind your ear <laughs> let that flat play yeah 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 <laughs> so right? pretty how about you light the match okay and then will you use the golden scissors yeah i think those are special they are Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm going to light this off the collective candle, too. Because this is all for you. Come on, baby. There you go. Oh, well, I just <laughs> had to speak the words. Yeah. Just talk to me. <laughs> These are wooden matchsticks. So they can make some gorgeous sounds. Mm -hmm. to be summoned in language. Mm -hmm. I said, come on, baby. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you. No, I it's okay. Our process. No, not at all. This is what we're doing. Jillian, we said it. <laughs> we're doing it. I love how they've bended. Bent. There we go. Perfect. All right. So satisfying. Mm -hmm. it's so beautiful. Oh. Beautiful. There we go. Oh, good. Okay, it's, yeah. it's dressed. It's yeah, gorgeous. it went right in. Lovely. Right. So, if you'd like to have a little look at the candle, beautiful. At the flame, and just continue to channel your intention or your wish. And I, I do want to empower the word wish. Because wish can yes. sometimes sound like, oh, I wish, you know? Flimsy. Yeah, yeah. It's not. No, no. It's more of a declaration, a, I allow, I receive. I have every, <laughs> every trust that this can happen, and it will happen. But my wish is to allow the happening of this almost, you know, that kind of thing. Yes. I'm glad that you brought up wish. I could really go on and on. <laughs> you just brought up. Orange County, California, Disneyland vibes. Mm -hmm. And even if that has an idea that that aesthetic is like too simplistic, we'll think about it. You know, when you wish upon a star and that wonderful five points of a star, mm -hmm. what you get out of that is a complete sort of experience where you've got north, which is earth, east air, south fire, west water, and spirit in the center creating your five-pointed star. So you have everything you need in your body. Mm -hmm. You have everything you need in your life. Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of prompted just because you said that to check the bottom. Oh, I love that. <laughs> it's like... Is that wands? Yeah, seven, oh. uh, six of wands. So you have everything. Everything. Wands are so wishy too, right? <laughs> and sixes, that's the six senses. So it's mm. beyond time and space. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, there's the tangible what's on our altar in five pieces, mm -hmm. right? That four corners and their corresponding elements mm -hmm. and spirit in the center. But there's that extra sight and inner knowing needed, which takes practice and confidence. Mm -hmm. So you being here is showing that sixth sense is in place. Mm -hmm. Wishes are heavy. Yeah, definitely. 
All right, wonderful. So special. Yeah, well, we think we're good. Yeah. <laughs> it's always hard to say goodbye, isn't it? it but is. I just want to thank all of you and thank Jillian for welcoming me to your space. And I'm honored to be here. And happy fall. Yeah, happy full moon. If you have not yet checked out Angela's channel or her mists or any of the wonderful offerings that she has, you, I will put her information below, you know. <laughs> and we just want to thank you so much for being here and letting us be a little piece of your path today. Yeah. Right? We'll do it my way, right? Yeah. From the bottom of my heart, <laughs> I bow to the divine in you, in me, and the magic that we share. Much love. Blessed be.